It can be really difficult to figure out if a girl likes you or not. Sometimes you might think you are in with a chance even though a girl is not interested at all. A girl will normally not be interested in a guy if he's acting a little bit awkward. She might take this as he's not interested or confident. Understanding the mannerisms that girls say makes a guy look awkward is important. In today's video, I'm going to reveal these mannerisms to you. And once you fully understand them, you will know what to stop doing on dates so that you can have more luck with the ladies. Like and subscribe. Tapping your foot. This is a sign of nervousness which can come across as slightly awkward. Tapping your foot can be quite annoying for the other person too. Some people might even interpret as you being bored. Unless you are tapping along to the beat of some music, I would suggest cutting it out completely and not doing it when you are on a date. Looking elsewhere. This action can also come across as nervousness, boredom or awkwardness. When someone is talking to you or waiting for you to talk, they want you to also be looking at them. If your eyes are darting around the room, they will become distracted themselves. They might wonder why you were just not looking straight at them. So try to focus on looking at the person in their eyes. Talking too quickly. Your date will struggle to understand if you are talking too quickly. It makes the whole date seem kind of rushed and it's a major sign of awkwardness. So if you catch yourself doing it, take a breath and talk a little bit slower. When your feet are pointed away. If you are around someone that you like, your feet will normally point towards their direction. So if your feet are pointed away from a girl and she picks up on this, then she might assume that you're not interested in her at all. This one might be hard to remember when you are on a date, but just remember that the feet is one of the first things that people look at on a date. Well, from a girl's perspective anyway. Not making eye contact. Eye contact is probably the most important part of body language. If you are avoiding making eye contact with a girl, she will assume that you are pretty awkward. This is likely to turn her off because she wants a guy who will stare deeply into her eyes, not someone that struggles to maintain that constant gaze. You make them repeat themselves. When you ask a girl to repeat herself once, well, she doesn't think anything of it. But when you have to ask her for the fifth time, though, she will probably assume that you're just not listening to her. When you ask friends to join you both, your friends might make you feel more confident, but this move makes you look awkward in a lady's eyes. When you avoid talking about yourself. Whenever she asks you a question about yourself, you seem to deflect and try to avoid the question altogether. You don't feel like you want to talk about yourself, that's understandable. But this makes you initially appear mysterious. But then, let me tell you this, after a few dates, if you keep this up, she might start to think that you are just plain awkward. When you keep playing with things on the table. When a guy starts playing with everything from the beer to the salt and pepper shakers on the table, it gets very distracting. Girls would rather you didn't do this and instead focused on speaking to her. When you don't try to make conversation, you let her make up the conversation and you occasionally ask her questions. You don't ask her about yourself or really have anything interesting to say. Now, a girl will consider this awkward behavior, but she might also simply believe that you don't care. When you struggle to sit still, if you are constantly moving around, then listen up, this is for you. Standing up, then sitting down and moving around the seat and fidgeting and fiddling with things around you needs to stop. This is a sign of a guy who might be awkward in a girl's mind. When you speak quietly, Girls don't mind it when guys are soft-spoken. In fact, they actually find this quite sexy. But if a man speaks quietly, it can come across as awkward if he always does it. The girl might have to ask him what he's saying a lot and after a while, she's gonna grow pretty tired of it. So try to speak up so that she can hear you. When you do not touch her, if you have both been on quite a few dates with each other and the conversation is naturally heating up, but if you don't make a move to touch her, there will be an air of awkwardness that just hangs around in the air. When you are different on the phone than what you are in person, 
by phone you might be confident and really chatty. Now lots of people are like this over the telephone because, well, they don't feel that pressure of having to talk to someone face to face. But when you meet a girl in person though, you will become awkward if you don't talk in the same way. She will think that you are a completely different person to who you were on the phone and she might even think that she has been catfished. So to avoid this situation, you could tell her over the phone that you do get nervous meeting someone face to face for the first couple of dates. When your laugh seems forced, if a girl believes that you're fake laughing, she might actually be quite offended. You might just be filling in an awkward silence because you are feeling very awkward, but she might not see it this way though and think that you are just simply not enjoying her company. When you stammer. Some people naturally stammer and others do it when they are feeling awkward. When a guy stutters in front of a girl, she will view him as awkward. Now, the good news is that some girls do like this type of guy. When you leave a room, have you ever walked into a room and then after seeing someone, panicked and walked out? If that someone is a girl that you might have been on a date with once, it makes you look awkward. She will probably assume that you are avoiding her and she might even think it's because you don't like her. So if you find yourself doing this, well, it's time to work on your confidence. You only talk after a drink. Now, lots of men who are either shy or introverted find it hard to talk because they are so nervous. So to help them gain some courage, they often reach for a drink. This helps boost their confidence and within a few minutes, they are able to talk freely. But girls see right through this and will view the man as someone who is awkward and very dependent on external things to soothe his inner composition. When you have your arms folded, this is a tricky one because some girls love it when they see a guy who has his arms folded. They think it makes him look kind of sultry, confident and attractive. Others though think it makes him look pretty awkward. It's important that you know what the girl is like and then change your body language accordingly. When you seem nervous, Often when you are nervous, you will come across as awkward. The two cross over quite a bit, which is why you might have already guessed. It's hard to stop being nervous, but if you work on your confidence, you really can overcome it. You are sweating. This happens more to guys than girls on average. When guys get nervous, they have more of a tendency to sweat excessively. Your date might be able to see you sweat through your outfit, the one that you are wearing on the date, and this comes across not as only a little bit awkward, but slightly unhygienic too. When you repeat yourself, your date might notice that you are retelling the same story or that you might repeat the same word a few times. This can come across as slightly awkward behavior and should be avoided. When you go to speak, try to put those nerves aside to avoid this. And there you go, we've reached the end of the video. Let me know down in the comments below if you liked this video or if I missed something very important from today's list. I hope this video has helped you gain a deep understanding of female psychology. Until the next video, like and subscribe. And if you want your name rolling up on this board like these people's names here, then all you have to do is click the link in the description bar below. Take care, bye-bye.